Hi, I'm Dick Leffler, Director of Engineering, and this is Steve Stanish, Traffic Engineering for the Town of Frederick. And we're here today to talk about the roundabouts at Colorado and 5th Street. Uh, we will show you why, call, why roundabouts are safer and to handle traffic better than the traditional intersections. The main reason why roundabouts are safer is because in a traditional intersection you have 32 conflict points with people turning left, right, or going straight, resulting in high speed, high angle, and high energy collisions that tend to be more head-on as opposed to something on the side. In a roundabout, you have only eight conflict points, uh, generally that are all low speed, low angle, and low energy, since you do have the yield coming into a roundabout. This results in less uh, higher intensity crashes and uh, less fatalities in general. Uh, as you can see also, in a roundabout, the, from a pedestrian standpoint, there are uh, 24 pedestrian uh, vehicle conflict points in a standard intersection compared to only eight uh, conflict points uh, with pedestrian vehicles in a roundabout. Uh, and, and for these reasons, experience has clearly shown that roundabouts are much safer uh, than the traditional intersections. Uh, for example, in the city of Golden, where roundabouts were installed uh, recently, uh, this was an area that saw 360 accidents in the three years prior to installing the roundabouts. In the six years after roundabouts were installed, there were only 150 accidents, a reduction of 85 percent. In uh, the same three years prior, there were 31 injuries, and during the six years following, there were only three injuries. This is a reduction of 96 percent. And this happened while average daily traffic increased from about 11,500 to 15,500 vehicles per day. Which brings us to our next point, that uh, roundabouts allow for better traffic flow. Uh, as you can see on this chart, roundabouts with roundabouts, average delay time is much lower than signalized intersections. Average wait times for roundabouts were between 2 and 8 seconds per vehicle, while at the signalized intersection, they were about 14 to 18 seconds per vehicle. So how do you navigate a roundabout? Well, it's simple. As you're coming and approaching the roundabout, you do have a yield sign. The important thing is to look and yield for pedestrians that are crossing within the intersection, as well as looking to your left in uh, the direction of oncoming traffic within the roundabout. If there's nobody that's, uh, no pedestrians and no oncoming traffic, you're free to go ahead, just like a yield sign. It's very similar to merging onto uh, an on-ramp uh, on I-25. However, this is at much lower speeds. So we hope the, this helps you understand how roundabouts are safer. They allow for better, better traffic flow, and we know that with a little experience, you can safely navigate these roundabouts. So thank you for your time, and have a great day.